Hello and welcome to this edition of the Chick Chat. I'm Tamara Javel and we have a special guest with us today. <laughs> I would love for you all to meet Amanda Biggs. She's the family uh, consultant with Project Care. Natalia is on vacation for spring break. She has offered to be our chicklet Hi. for today. <laughs> This is it. We want to uh, say welcome to, again, the Chick Chat, creating helpful information connections for Greenville, Pitt County, and the surrounding areas. This episode of the Chick Chat is proudly brought to you by uh, support from Kona Ice and the Mideast Commission Area Agency on Aging. We want to make sure that you are aware of the events that are taking place. We want you to get out there and participate yes. and we want you to volunteer. All of these events are held and hosted by local nonprofit agencies and organizations that make Greenville and Pitt County such a wonderful place to live. I'm going to get us started today with a food drive. This food drive is hosted by Church's Outreach Network and it's going to take place on Wednesday, March 7th, the location 713 Albemarle Avenue right here in Greenville starting at 9 a.m. It is a first come first serve food drive. Bring your own bags and boxes. We say that every time. All community resources are welcome to come out and if you would like more information please call our friend Pastor Rodney Coles at 717-9600. Okay. Cancer patients, cancer survivors, and those who are caregivers of cancer patients at Biden Beaufort Hospital are welcome to receive a free 25-minute hand, foot, or chair massage at Washington locations. All you have to do is call the Cancer Center at 252-975-4308 or, or Market Street message at 252-946-8989. Thank All you. right. Again, with Feeding the Hungry, Sycamore Hill Missionary Baptist Church located at 101 Hooker Road is hosting their food bank on the second Tuesday of every month. It takes place from 12 noon to 2 p.m. If you are in need of assistance, please come by the church and pick up your food bag while they last. Also, if you are disabled and need assistance with getting your bag of food home, please call 916-2115. The ECU College of Health and Human Performance has partnered with Triple P Parenting to their P, Triple P consultations, short one-on-one -on -one consultation sessions with parents on specific behavior concerns they are seeing with their children. For, tan for tantrums to difficulty staying in bed, they can help with specific behaviors in four short sessions. They're also offering Triple P classes at child development centers on topics such as develop difficulty completing homework, managing misbehaviors, and more. Additionally, triple group part class, part discussion groups are being held to address a variety of behaviors that you may be experiencing with your child. The groups meet weekly over a period of four to six weeks. For more information uh, or register for any of these programs, please call Erin Roberts at 252-328-4206. On the third Tuesday of each month, the Blind Center is presenting Assistive Technology in Action at their main office located at 211 North Harvey Street in Little Washington. Go and learn about the newest devices and technology for the blind and visually impaired. The classes are offered at no cost and are presented by Gloria Jinks, a North Carolina assistive technologist. For more information, please call Liz Lyles at 946 6208. The Pitt Grands, Pitt County's Grandparents Raising Grandchildren group meets on the first Thursday of every month from 12 to 1 p.m. at the Pitt County Council on Aging located at 4551 County Home Road. Join us each month of the school year as we explore a new section of nat national award-winning parenting second time around, a workshop series designed to address the specific needs of grandparents and relative caregivers who are parenting again. Topic include child development, discipline and guidance, caring for yourself as a caregiver, rebuilding a family and more. For more information, call Tamara Javel at 252-974-1837. So I want to let everybody know we actually met today. We have two more sessions, two more meetings we're going to meet in um, April and again in May and then we won't meet again until September so if you've been thinking about coming to the group you have two more opportunities this school year to jump in and get the parenting a second time around book and meet the folks in the group. 
Next up, we have Join Girl Scouts. Girl Scout Troop 571 will host meetings in our area to start new troops for grades four, five, and six. Co-leaders age 18 and older, new volunteers or big sisters also 18 years uh, of age or older and share about the power of Girl Scouting. The meetings are gonna be held on the first and third Wednesday of every month from six to 7 p.m. And they're going to meet at the Esther Conference Room at Sycamore Hill Missionary Baptist Church located at 1001 Hooker Road. You can get more information about your daughter joining Girl Scouts by calling Shalinda Sutton 227-5990. Grief involves many emotions such as and can resemble the movements of the ocean coming and going like the tide. It is common to have emotional waves of anger, guilt, numbness, sadness, or grief. All of these are normal reactions when someone you love dies. You may feel alone and need to share your thoughts and feelings with others who have also experienced loss. Pathways to Hope is an ongoing monthly support group for those who have experienced the loss of a loved one. Different topics are discussed each month and are welcome to attend and all are welcome to attend meetings as you choose. Pathways to Hope meets the second Tuesday of each month at Vidant Wellness Center located at 2610 Stantonsburg Road from 530 to 730 p.m. For more information, please call 252-847-1236. So get your pencils out for this one. It's a lot of information, but I want to make sure that you get it. MEND is a community partnership between local health care providers and faith-based organizations who collaborate to provide basic health care services for those who cannot afford insurance or who have limited opportunities for routine health care. Through MEND, three free clinics are staffed to offer several weekly opportunities to be seen by a health care professional in a different part of Pitt County. <clears throat> there may be some drastically reduced cost for specialist care and medications. So first up, we have Oakmont Baptist Church offering their clinic at the branches located at 1400 Red Banks Road one Saturday and every fourth Tuesday per month. For clinic times, please call 756-1245. Spanish interpreters are available at the Oakmont Clinic. Next up, the former Greenville Community Shelter Clinic is located at 207 Marlboro Avenue. It's open to any member of the public from 645 to 830 p.m. General clinics are open every Monday and a women's and children's clinic is open every other Tuesday. This is a walk-in clinic and no appointment is necessary. Lastly, the Pitt County Government Health Department, located at 201 Government Circle, offers an acute primary care and medications clinic, along with blood pressure and blood sugar screenings to patients who reside in Pitt County on Sundays from noon to 4 p.m. except holidays. And they also have a Spanish interpreter available. ECU is currently enrolling participants in the High Pace Research Study, a study that looks at how exercise affects health in African Americans. The study involves six months of on-site exercise and training at ECU as well as several study visits. To be eligible for a high pace study, you need to be an African American adult between the ages of 35 and 65 years old. Not currently enrolled in the exercise or weight loss program, have a body mass index of 30 to 45, not type 1 or type 2 diabetic, and have not had a previous heart attack or stroke. For more, if you're interested in participating, please contact Dr. Damon Swift at 252-737-1338. All right. When a child is taken into foster care, they are sometimes left to pack whatever items they have into garbage bags. Please help the East Carolina University School of Social Work field office collect slightly used or new suitcases, duffel bags, and covered containers as they help the children of Beaufort County move forward in what is already a very difficult situation. The luggage for lug, uh, the luggage for lug campaign runs through March 30th, so we have a month left to help all of these children. Please check the attic, the closet, under the stairs, even the clearance section at your favorite department store and help a child. For more information, please uh, email. You're going to send an email to luggageforlove at yahoo.com. 
Champions for Life Mentoring Program, a new tutoring program every Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Volunteer tutors will provide cur children currently enrolled in the Champions for Life Mentoring Program tutoring in subjects in math, English, and science. Snacks and transportation are provided for the children. They just need to, they just need you to volunteer as a tutor. As a volunteer tutor, you will help at-risk youth improve their grades and achieve academic success. Gain volunteer experience from your resume and job applications. Build volunteer hours, build interpersonal relationships with at-risk youth age 6 to 17, and have the opportunity to change lives. For more information on how to volunteer, how, how to volunteer um, please call 252-277-4156 or 252-228-8149. If you live in Pitt, Martin, or Beaufort counties, Pitt Head Start is now accepting applications for the 2018 to 2019 year. Children must be at least three years old by August 31st, and the program is inclusive of children with special needs. You must be able to provide the following documentation for your child's application to be processed for enrollment. Proof of the child's birth and your income for the past calendar year or 12 months. For more information, please call 355-0028. Did you know that free tax services is available for older adults in Pitt County? IRS VITA volunteers will provide free income tax preparations for adults ages 55 or older on Tuesdays and Thursday mornings by appointment only through April the 10th at 11 a.m. until 12.15 p.m. at the Pitt County Council on Aging located at 4551 County Home Road, Greenville. Volunteers are trained and certified. You must have an appointment, an appointment so please call 252-752-1717, extension 8, and leave a message. Someone will return your call as soon as possible. That's right. The 8th Annual John C. Anima Relay for Life Tennis Tournament is taking place on Saturday, March 3rd at the Baywood Racquet Club located at 471 Baywood Drive in Winterville. The tournament is a one-day event. Matches will begin promptly at 9 a.m. and will be held in a round robin format. The winning team will be determined by the most matches won. All players should check in at Baywood Racquet Club between 8 and 8.30 a.m. The entry fee is only $60 per mixed doubles team, but it's only $30 for the high school student mixed doubles teams. 100% of the proceeds raised during the tournament go directly to the American Cancer Society. Lunch will be served, refreshments will be available throughout the tournament. Now, the registration deadline was today, March 1st. Or wait a minute, maybe that was yesterday. Today. The registration was today, March 1st. However, I do want you to call and see if they can still squeeze you in because you remember they're raising money for American Cancer Society. If you can't play tennis but you want to be involved, donations can be mailed to the Racket Club. Make the check donation out to American Cancer Society. Get more information at email address coming at you. BaywoodRC at EmbarkMail.com <laughs> Are you caring for a family member or a friend? If so, you're invited to attend the Powerful Tools for Caregivers and an yeah, educational program designed to help caregivers take care of themselves while they take care of others. You will benefit from this class whether you are helping out a parent, spouse, friend, or someone who lives at home. The class meet once a week and it's the six weeks um, following on Fridays. March 6th, 9th, 16th, 23rd, April the 6th and 13th from 2 to 3.30 at Pitt County Schools and Recreation located at 4561 County Home Road in Greenville. Please register by Wednesday, February the 28th, <laughs> which was yesterday. Um, for more information, call Tamara Javel at 252-974-1837 or Brandy Gardner at 252-974-1854. So I'm Tamara Javel. <laughs> so if you want to join us, you just show up. Now, the first one is tomorrow, which is Friday, March 2nd. Join us on the next one. We'll see you there. All right. I want to thank you so much for joining us for this edition of the Chick Chat. Remember, we are helping create helpful information connections for Greenville, Pitt County, and the surrounding areas. And I want to thank Amanda Biggs You're for being welcome. our chicklet for <laughs> today and jumping in with us. Natalia will be back, but now we know who we can call whenever Natalia can't be here. <laughs> 
Thank you so much, and we'll see Thank you next you. time. Give me a high five, girl. You did awesome. <laughs>